right, I guess uh, we can go now. Alex, you ready? Yep, let's get the show on the road. <clears throat> awesome, awesome. Well, welcome everyone. Uh, good day, everyone, or should I say good morning for those of you who live uh, on the West Coast. So uh, thank you very much for being here. I am Olivier, I am an account executive at Showa. I hope everybody is doing well. And uh, I am pleased to have my colleague, Alex, uh, from Pre-Sales today. Alex, I'm just gonna give you a few seconds to present yourself. Yeah, so I'm a, uh, a subject matter expert uh, for anything that uh, touches the modern workplace and the modern workplace is the Microsoft's way of calling anything that has to do with Microsoft 365 or perhaps Office 365 if you're less familiar with the, the naming change we had uh, recently. So very excited uh, today to talk about the different solutions we can bring to this very specific vertical. Exactly, pretty excited for this very first uh, webinar as well with CPA Canada. And by the way, I just want to thank uh, CPA Canada and Microsoft for, for this amazing partnership and for giving us the opportunity to uh, show you this webinar today. Uh, obviously, uh, you're probably figuring it out that we're French Canadian. Uh, so uh, sorry for the uh, major French accent. Uh, please bear with us for, for today's presentation, uh, but we'll give you more details uh, about Mark. Microsoft Share Web itself, uh, you will see. So today, the purpose of this webinar is how to become CPA compliant with Microsoft Solutions. Uh, I can hear you from here. Uh, maybe you're saying that there, there's no such thing as a CPA compliance uh, right now. Uh, maybe you're right, maybe you're wrong. We'll tell you why, but uh, at the end of the day, uh, we're here to show you how to secure your modern workplace with the Microsoft Solutions. So the agenda for today, uh, with ShareWeb, um, oh, sorry, I just had a uh, notification from uh, the, the platform. So with ShareWeb, basically, um, maybe some of you thought it would have been Microsoft would have done this presentation today, but just so you know, uh, ShareWeb, we're the biggest Microsoft Gold partner in Canada. So obviously we really have a tight relationship with them. Um, and this is why we came up with the partnership with Microsoft and CPA Canada. So we're going to talk about ShareWeb real quick, how to become CPA compliant with Microsoft solutions with uh, these uh, key aspects. Why ShareWeb? Obviously, uh, you're probably already familiar with the Microsoft environment. Maybe you're currently using even the 2007 or 2010 version. Hopefully not, because they're no longer <laughs> supported. Um, so again, maybe a nice opportunity to move to the cloud. Uh, but, you know, usually 80% of uh, North American businesses use Microsoft or have used Microsoft solutions. So I guess you're probably uh, already familiar with it. You, know, you can almost buy Microsoft 365 at your grocery stores nearby uh, uh, since there are so many MSPs yeah. and CSPs out there where we sell the, the solutions. So we'll show you why Sherwin. Um, and at the end of the presentation, and this is a nice aspect for you guys, is the complementary solutions to Microsoft products. Uh, again, you're probably familiar with it, but we're going to show you how you can be more efficient with other solutions. And at the end, the exclusive CPA offer, which you might already seen in your CPA portal. So first of all, who is ShareWeb? Well, ShareWeb, we're an added cloud solution provider. Uh, we've been in business more than 21 uh, years now. It first started with two brothers in their home garage, who bought an exchange server, um, and then it became a web hosting company. Uh, and then once we partnered up with Microsoft, we had a major growth and we are now 900 plus employees. I know you see 800 right now, but as from today, we're 900 plus employees. We keep on growing. And um, basically, we have two motions at ShareWeb. The first one, which is our main core of business, is the partner network. Um, basically, we sell and resell solutions to MSP, so managed service providers, uh, value-added resellers, or IT consultants and whatnot, who uh, basically add their own services, added values and expertise upon the solution itself. Uh, so we have more than 6,000 partners across the globe, mostly uh, obviously in Canada and the US. Uh, we have a major pool of partners located in uh, Quebec. Um, so yeah, basically that's the, mo the main core of business. And we have the second one, which is the corporate team, which is the part that I am uh, the team that I am part of. So basically we deal uh, with SMBs or mid-size enterprise level project because uh, mostly they have internal IT staff and uh, basically they don't need to externalize all their uh, cloud services. So and if, if I can yeah. add something, uh, yeah. Yeah, go like ahead. Just, uh, if the 
to, to say that you know who is Shoaib and, and we've been in business for 20 plus years and uh, these wonderful people like but how come I've never heard of you uh, what you're talking about our partner channel the fact that they haven't heard of us is part of our success we we are behind the curtain for the most uh, most of our businesses most of the uh, of the partners that we support and part of our promise to them is that it's a white label approach so the, you may have already dealt with your web without ever knowing uh, about it exactly and alex you opened me a door um, <clears throat> just to give you an example you can become a partner of SureWeb uh, without having a certain expertise in the cloud industry just to give you an example i have an accounting firm located in quebec basically they refer clients to us or the even reselling um, cloud solutions and they they can simply leverage ShareWeb as a partner to uh, make sure that their end clients have the right uh, plans to fit with their business needs. So at the end of the day, even though you're not a uh, managed service provider per se, if you're looking to have a, a monthly recurring revenue approach, well, uh, it could be a solution here. Um, obviously, the main goal of today is not to talk about our, the partnership itself, but if you have any other questions, feel free to contact our sales team. It will be our pleasure to help you out. So I just, I just put some words in there. Uh, I don't want to brag or anything. It's just to show you that basically ShareWeb is pretty well known in the cloud industry, uh, again, in Canada and in uh, the United States as well. If you need more details, more information, uh, feel free to go on ShareWeb.com to see all the words that, that we have won. So now already on the main uh, core of this presentation deck, how to become CPA compliant with the Microsoft solutions. So it first started two years ago. So uh, when a client from Quebec uh, contacted me for Microsoft solutions and he told me, I Oliver, um, basically I need to follow these criteria. And then he sent me this amazing CPA guide on best practices in IT use. I was pretty surprised because back then I never heard of it. And I was even more surprised because a lot of my friends are accountants and you know half of my family as well, and they never heard of it neither. So basically, CPA, well, as you can see at the uh, top, right, I'm sorry, on the bottom right corner, it says CPA Quebec. I was trying to find the CPA guide in the other province, uh, province but I wasn't able to uh, to get them. But you know, at the end of the day, I'm assuming that CPA. If CPA Quebec does something, well, all CPA Canada has to follow it or prove it. But at the end of the day, even though you're a CPA member or not, Microsoft Solutions uh, respect the most severe compliances out there, uh, such as IPA, for instance, in the United States, ISO 2701, or even GDPR in Europe, and many more. So uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty, pretty safe. And basically, I don't know if uh, CPA Quebec is listening to this uh, webinar right now, but I just want to give them a little shout out because they really, <laughs> created, really created a nice document, really straightforward to, to read, really easy to read, really probably well done. Uh, just mm -hmm. to give you an example, I'm actually uh, um, dealing with IPA compliance in the US and uh, that guide is pretty tough to read. It's pretty yeah. long, but this one, uh, pretty straightforward. So uh, great job. And, and, and to, be brings, fair, uh, to be fair, Ali, yeah, about the guide, even though it's the guide for Quebec, I'm sure all of the accountants in the other provinces are very familiar with the fact that Quebec is just much more complicated in everything than all the other provinces anyway. <laughs> so if it works for <laughs> Quebec, it's going to be a breeze for the other provinces, right? <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. Well, that's another debate, I guess. And um, by the way, we'll send you this presentation deck at the end of the webinar, of course, put the source uh, in this very slide. So if you need more details, obviously you can have the English or the French version of it uh, to make sure you follow the, the proper criteria. So what we did is we took time to read it. Again, it was pretty easy to read and we focused on these main criteria. And basically, Microsoft can help you out to become compliant with only one bundle and we'll show you how. And thank God I have Alex today to explain you <laughs> Uh, all these aspects. Um, to be honest, it's going to be the more, most technical part of the presentation, but as our main mission is to simplify the cloud, Alex will simplify things for you. So today we're going to talk about access management, which is one part. The second one, how to secure your email environment, then the mobile device management, and we'll finish with the data backup. And by the way, all these 
uh, features are cloud-based. So Alex, I'll let you start with the uh, access management. Just please tell me when you need me to. Right. So, so, so next slide, by the way. <laughs> there, there you go. Okay. Uh, so access management when it comes to uh, M365 is uh, really talking about the users. So when we're saying access, we're talking about people. And when you're talking about people, uh, maybe some of the, the, the firms that are here listening are smaller firms with, you know, one to five uh, users, you know, in the organization. And they're saying, well, I don't need to manage, you know, this, this access, you know, I'm the only user, I'm the only admin. And um, one, of the, one of the major flaws with, with that thinking is that how does the system know that it's really you, you know? If you're, if you have just a regular, you know, username and password, it can be hacked. Other people can get into it. And being in a very, um, uh, very uh, specific vertical with uh, lots and lots of uh, compliance and security uh, measures, especially when you're dealing with confidential information for, uh, for 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 tax information for you know citizens like myself, uh, it's very important to have the right access management so that your users that are logging in are the right ones and the way we are able to accomplish that there's five uh, different options that come with the uh, azure active directory uh, premium that's included in the bundle that uh, ali's talking about the first one is strong authentication this would be something like a smart card a, a bioprint even like face recognition it's something else that isn't a password or a token of any kind but really like a, a, a material thing, if you will, that allows you to log in. You, you may have seen it with uh, you know, certain laptops, you know, with your fingerprint scan. So this is an option that's available within M365. The next one, which has become very, very popular, especially with everyone working from home, uh, looking for a quick fix uh, as far as you know, improving security. And it really does. Multi-factor authentication reduces the attack surface of your organization by about 90%. So nine out of 10 attacks. And I mean, I don't know, I guess I don't really have to explain factions to accountants, but um, <laughs> really like it's the easiest thing that you can do. And it's actually part of all of uh, M365 uh, offerings. So if there's just one thing that you remember from this webinar, turn on MFA for your organizations. Uh, the self-service password right back uh, sounds a bit complicated, but what it really means is that from your smartphone, from your iPhone or Android device, you are able to change your password and automatically any other um, service that you have, uh, either like an on-premise Active Directory when you're logging on your, your, your workstation at work or if you're trying to log in from, uh, from home with a different setup, it will all sync together. Uh, so that if you are working from home for some strange reason, because everybody's at you know the office right now, and you need to change your 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 Active Directory password, without this service, you would actually have to call the admin or go into the office to manually reset the password on site. But with the cloud, you're able to do this uh, from uh, everywhere. The cloud sync option is a bit along that same line, but for everything else, so that if you have a document that you're working on from home and you're saving them from uh, from OneDrive, you're able to log in, and as soon as they validate that it's you, you're able to access that same file with those same permissions, that same uh, that same right to uh, to work on it. And then the last one, which I do believe is also a very very important uh, feature, is called conditional access, and this is very straightforward. It means to give conditions before giving access to a user. Uh, the main conditional access is uh, MFA, making sure that everyone has uh, multi-factor authentic authentication before being allowed in. But there's other things that you can do. Say, for example, you know that you are going to stay in the Toronto area and that all your workers are going to stay in the, in the Toronto area or the GTA, you are able to set certain limits so that the only on, the only users that are allowed to log in to your environment are the ones that are found within that same geographical region. So someone from Edmonton can't log in, someone from Montreal can't log in, anyone from other countries can't log in. So it really uh, prevents any type of sophisticated uh, attacks on your system just by completely removing uh, any type of access uh, for those uh, people. 
obviously we have uh, documentation that, that goes uh, along with this. So if you want uh, more information, once the deck is available to you, you're able to look into that. And uh, as Ali said, we're more than uh, happy to uh, help explain it to you on a more very specific case for your environment, how it would change the way you work. Next slide, exactly. please. And obviously as a business with 900 plus employees, we use all these uh, security aspects, but it doesn't mean that if you only have three employees that you don't need it. We strongly uh, suggest to uh, install it and to uh, configure it. I know even though you're only a small or SMB, a business, you know, it doesn't matter. Uh, security should be the number one uh, case here. So perfect. So talking about security, uh, maybe the thing that you probably all know is email, right? It's how to secure your email environment, uh, Microsoft or not, you should really, really, really secure it. Uh, so uh, Alex will give you more details and yep. about the email. Uh, so one of the, the, the major aspects of uh, securing the email environment is encryption. And whenever we're talking with accountants, especially uh, working remote and having to deal with clients remotely, uh, most of you have probably uh, come up with a ad hoc solution or a different solution, or maybe you're using this to send that confidential information encrypted to your end users. The user experience with the Microsoft uh, encryption, to me, but you know, obviously I'm biased, is actually really, really good. And uh, it doesn't require the end users to have any Microsoft solutions to be able to securely open those files and reply if they if they need and, and send back information if they need to do so. All they need to have is a internet connection and a web browser. Uh, the other parts of securing the uh, environment, really the data loss prevention, this is, um, a feature from Microsoft and obviously, you know, from uh, other companies as well that uses uh, machine learning to identify sensitive information and prevent users automatically with rules that you create. Or you can use some templates to say, you know, you are in the financial field. So uh, numbers uh, like uh, social insurance numbers, uh, you know, credit card information, uh, user uh, information, you know, date of birth, things like that will be automatically enrolled into this service and prevent users from sending that information uh, outside of your organization through all the different types of channels that, that they could use. So they're not able to take the file and load it into a web browser with a you know, different service email account and send it to someone. The file itself will recognize that it's supposed to stay within the organization and they'll actually get a, a, an, an error message, a warning that says, you know, we have prevented you from sending. It's not, it's not that it's broken, it prevented you from sending that uh, out there. And the fact that all of it is done with templates and that the uh, accounting field, again, is very specific. There are some templates that you can apply and all the rules will follow automatically for you. So it's as plug and play as it can get for these types of uh, services. And as far as the type of encryption that's, uh, that's included, it really is the uh, the BitLocker AES 128-bit, which is the industry standard for being able to have strong encryption. And it's the same type of encryption that's already included in uh, Windows 10 to encrypt your hard drives. Uh, so if you're already on a Windows product and you are taking on uh, this bundle, it will really be the same type of encryption that you have already on the hard drive that's gonna be um, extended to all the other uh, uh, services that you want to send to the world via email, whether it's uh, attachments or, uh, or emails. And then the last one is information rights management. This is uh, mostly for uh, managing the internal users and other users that you would invite onto your uh, organization. So say, for example, you are working on a big accounting project and you need to enlist the help of a contractor that's going uh, perhaps a a, uh, another accountant that has a specialization in a specific uh, portion of this. Obviously, I'm not an accountant, so I'm not going to pretend like I know the terms, <laughs> but uh, you are able remotely to add them to your organization, give them certain rights so that you can collaborate together and not worry about them having access to other files within your organization, other accounts, other projects that you're working on, or to be able to um, to retrieve uh, certain information that they're, they're, they aren't allowed to have. The information rights management has gone through a lot of different uh, name changes over the years. 
uh, you may have had the actual SKU information rights management or Azure rights management or uh, you know Azure encryption. It's it's been that same type of service. It's just that recently it all includes um, machine learning and cloud-based signals, and we'll cover that a, a little bit uh, a little bit further. Exactly, yeah, and, uh, especially the uh, right management for Excel files. I know uh, some of my clients are using obviously Excel as accounting firms or any other, or other uh, even PowerPoints um, or Word documents. Well, they can simply can use that feature and make sure that maybe some of the data you don't want to show to other employees or clients, or providers, etc. Uh, well, which is very very useful in this case. And the last part of the uh, um, email environment that you need to secure the Azure Advanced Threat Protection, which uh, Alex will obviously mm -hmm. give you more details again on it. Yeah, so uh, so Office 365 Advanced Threat Protection uh, also has gone through a lot of different uh, name changes uh, over uh, over the recent years, but pretty much when you're looking at Advanced Threat Protection in regards to email, it means two things. It means safe links and safe attachments. Safe links, you receive an email from someone, it has a link uh, on it. it, seems legit, you know, you don't know, it seems like it might be someone uh, you know that you know, but is it really that person that sent it to you and all that? This takes all of the worry away. Uh, using, again, machine learning, cloud signals, uh, and all of the resources uh, available to, uh, to it, Microsoft is constantly scanning the world about any type of new, uh, what they call the zero-day uh, attacks, zero-day um, flaws so that as soon as one user within one tenant anywhere in the world from Microsoft receives one type of attack, all of the rest of the planet is now aware that this attack exists and they will be able to stop it. Whenever the link seems to be safe, Microsoft will give you a message saying, you know, you are allowed to click uh, this link, but if it's not safe, they'll either block it completely or put it in quarantine. We're all uh, familiar with that word recently, but uh, the quarantine for uh, safe links is really a specific place. It's like a sandbox, uh, if you will, where you're able to click on it. And if something bad were to happen, well, you're only ruining that sandbox and not your environment. Uh, same concept with the uh, safe attachments checks if there's any information about malicious uh, options that are uh, included uh, with it. Uh, you do get warning message as well from Microsoft that this seems like it might be legit, might not be. They have access to the uh, quarantine uh, box as well, so you can see if there's any suspicious activity or not. And uh, it really works great. We've uh, done we've done the switch uh, internally for about uh, let's say about uh, three months now, three four months. And it really, really works well. The only thing that I'll say that's slightly technical about uh, ATP is that it's actually a service and not a license, meaning that whenever you turn on the service, it will be available for your whole organization. But this comes with a warning. If you are having just one user that has this service and you have an organization of 100 people, you're only going to have one engine dedicated to servicing 100 users for anything safely, safe attachments, you will encounter what's a company called throttling or delays in receiving emails uh, with attachments. So it's very important that if you use the service, make sure that all your users have the service so you have one engine per user so that everything stays instantaneous like you're used to. Next slide, please. <laughs> yeah, sure. And now the third point, the mobile device management, which is a great and important point as well. So Alex, if you may continue with the mobile device. Yeah, uh, just just a year ago, mobile mobile device management and uh, mobile app management were mostly, you know, uh, and nice to have, or maybe like uh, just bells and whistles. But nowadays, with everyone working from home, logging in from, you know, different environments uh, with with less than secure Wi-Fi hotspots and uh, other factors, other users, sometimes, you know, eight, 10 years old on the same network as you playing games. Uh, it's important uh, th this service that uh, Microsoft has really lets you manage the devices and it's separated into two worlds, uh, if you will. 
So you have the mobile, the full mobile device management, which is typically used whenever it's a company enrolled device. And then the mobile application management, which is whenever it's a bring your own device, or if you have uh, employees that would like to, you know, log in from home uh, from their own computer and still be able to access your network. You, you don't have to either say yes fully or no fully. There's a great uh, happy middle. So if you want to go to the next the slide. Mm -mm -mm. There we go. For the mobile device management, it's a nice little graph that shows that the service that manages it is a Microsoft Intune. It enrolls the device, it checks the health of the device, it checks to see if all the updates have been done on the device, it checks to see if there's some uh, mobile threats, you know, like like, like virus, like on the on like malware applications on the device before letting you in, and this works with the Azure Active Directory that we talked about earlier, whenever it's associated to a user. So you have Azure Active Directory that says Johnny is Johnny because we've done some checks and Johnny's cell phone is Johnny's cell phone for sure and it has all the updates. So Johnny is allowed to log in with his cell phone into the, uh, the environment and check his emails or check his OneDrive that he's working on for, for different uh, projects. All of this obviously is done instantaneously for Microsoft, but we felt that it would be a good idea to see all the different uh, paths, like the workflows of how the different services uh, work together. And then if you want to move to the next slide. Exactly. Uh, there's since a lot of information that you're talking about, but uh, at the end, again, there's a, a source right on the, the bottom left corner. So if you need more details, uh, you more details about the, this graphic itself, well, you can click on it. And then, as I mentioned, the other option which has grown, you know, exponentially popular recently is the mobile app management. Uh, so this way, you're able to install the applications and having the, the data from your company on a user's personal device. But that data and those applications are fully segregated and you have the full control of those applications in case you need to like a delete a certain data or lock a certain data, like protect certain apps from being able to uh, sign in from that user. And the user knows that you do not have access to their full personal information at, at the same time. So it really is the same service as the M mobile device management, but really limited to the applications that uh, they are using. This is a great way, especially for smaller firms to save a lot of money on uh, equipping uh, employees with company-owned uh, devices, but without having to sacrifice any services or security. Uh, and especially with the uh, the younger generation coming into the workforce, their, uh, their their cell phones and their and their home computers tend to be top of the line, <laughs> you know, latest generation. Uh, so they would be very happy if you extend the service to them so that they are able to work on their high-performance machines. And still be able to work. I know. I know one person that's very happy to be working on their own gaming rig <laughs> with uh, with work. <laughs> Next slide, please. All right. Well, thank you very much, Alex. So, um, if I may continue with the data backup, which uh, was the last point of the CPA guide that uh, we focused on, um, as it mentioned in your CPA best practices, I to use. Uh, basically, you don't want to put all your eggs in the same basket, and that's what we usually recommend to all our clients. Uh, so we do have a data backup solution. Uh, we use the Aquinas agent to back up all your Microsoft 365 data. Uh, really, really easy to use, really easy to configure. You don't need to be a, an IT specialist to use this platform, which is amazing. So you can basically back up your almost everything in the Microsoft 365 environment, even OneDrive now in SharePoint, mm -hmm. uh, which is really, really interesting, uh, emails as well. So it comes with the encryption key if needed. Uh, it's usually recommended as well uh, within your uh, CPA guide. Uh, you got to be careful with that because if you lose the encryption key, uh, SharePoint won't be able to retrace it. No one won't, no one will actually. So you got to be careful. See, if you take it, it's an option but uh, it is yours and nobody else. So we won't be able to recover your data if you don't have the encryption key. Mm -hmm. uh, again, it, really easy to configure. Uh, 
all the backup would be 100% located in Canada uh, because obviously it would be under show web servers, which are SOC 2 type 2 compliant data centers. Um, again, if you need to have the uh, report of our SOC 2 type 2 um, audit, uh, you can have it. However, you need to contact a sales uh, agent and then sign an NDA, and then you can have more details if needed. But just so you know, it is available for you guys. Yeah, and even though it's not my oh. uh, my product, oh. I just want to add one little thing to the uh, data backup because you may be wondering, uh, okay, if Microsoft is so great, why are you using a different solution for data backup? And the simple answer is ransomware. The only way that you're able to be 100% uh, protected from ransomware is to have a completely independent service for the backup. And I mean, like there has to be no link at all between the different services. Otherwise, as soon as you know, modern ransomware, if you will, uh, comes in, they will contaminate everything uh, right away. I don't want to use too many virus words. Exactly. So great. Keep going. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Great point, Alex. Uh, yeah, obviously Microsoft offers backup solution, but uh, again, you don't want to put all the same, all your eggs in the same basket. So if you have like a a, ma a malware person goes into your tenant and then he or she can have access to all your data information. Of course, even if you're backing up the, uh, the same environment, then obviously it, it won't work. So we, we said a lot of things and the time time goes fast. So basically we show you how you can uh, secure your exchange online environment. Uh, we talk about the access management as well and the income part, which was the mobile device management. So I know every uh, every aspect has so many features. I know it could be complicated sometimes. Trust me, even for us it is. But again, we have SMEs such as Alex to uh, help us out. Uh, so basically, uh, Microsoft came up with the best bundle almost a year ago. It's called the Microsoft 365 Business Premium uh, or even the Enterprise Plans. So everything that we said today, everything, everything, uh, basically, are included within that bundle, and that bundle is the cheapest option out there as from as from today. So basically, it comes with Microsoft 365 applications that you're all already familiar with, the Windows 10 Pro extension as well, which is really interesting, and the enterprise mobility and security features, uh, which is the Intune part, so the mobile device management. So the thing that I really, really like about Microsoft is that you can mix and match all plans all together. Meaning that if you have few users that only needs email services, well, there's plans for them. If you need an add-on to encrypt your emails, but you don't need the application itself, well, there's an add-on for that. So you can mix and match plans all together uh, according to your business needs. And um, I know there are so many solutions out there, but Microsoft is the only one who can who you can really easily mix and match plans all together. So, a really great aspect here for for Microsoft, and I know Alex, you you like Microsoft because you can also upgrade it or downgrade it whenever you want to, right? Exactly, and you know if if we know of one vertical that has a a specific season where there's more stress and more activity, it's definitely tax season for accountants. Uh, so if you have <laughs> to uh, hire you know certain extra forces to help you during that season, you don't have to worry about. Uh, equipping them with, you know, a full computer, a full office license that you buy at Best Buy. You can just select the M365 license that you need for just the time that you need and then remove it uh, when you're done. No harm, no foul. The other thing, as Ali uh, touched on, is the fact that when we're talking about the M365 Business Premium SKU and that it includes everything, we wouldn't have been able to have this uh, webinar even uh, six months ago. Uh, the I don't know if it's part of COVID or if it was, you know, competition that's uh, getting uh, smarter. Uh, but Microsoft really went all out to make the Microsoft 365 Business Premium SKU their full hero SKU, and you have everything that you would need, whether it's, you know, the Office applications, the, the Windows license, or everything that in, that is uh, involved with the enterprise mobility and security, which is again, you know, the the Azure for the access, the Azure Active Directory for the access the uh, Azure Information Protection for the encryption, and then the intune for the device management. And when we're talking about, the, you know, it's, it's not just mobile devices. This, this includes, you know, laptops, 
uh, you know, iPads, uh, you know, desktops and all that. You can enroll any device uh, within Intune. Uh, so anything that you want to use in your environment, you want to use uh, on this. And then the, the only catch for the uh, business premium, because you might be wondering why are you showing enterprise and if premium can do the whole thing, it's the third bullet point. Up to 300 users can be on M365 Business Premium. Uh, Microsoft has put a limit on it, which should be the, the biggest hint that it's the best value out there. Because if you go to Whole Foods or Costco and you see an item on sale and they say limit four per customer, you know you're getting a deal, right? Like you, <laughs> you know there's a reason for that. So it's the same thing exactly. uh, with uh, Microsoft Business Premium. And then just to say, like, if you were a huge accountant, accounting firm that needs all 300 business premium for your 300 users, and then you have a new employee, as Ali said, don't worry, you can mix and match plans. So that 301st user can be on the M365 enterprise version and still have the same access as everyone. You'll just pay a little bit more for the same uh, service as the others. Exactly. Great points. And, um, just uh, just maybe a small warning here. Uh, it doesn't mean that if you buy Microsoft 365, uh, it doesn't mean that you'll become compliant right away. You still need to configure some uh, some services, some features that we discuss uh, to, in order to become compliant. So once you get uh, that audited, um, well, you just make sure you have uh, these tools properly installed. And by the way, there's a compliance manager. Uh, I believe we haven't talked about it yet, but there's a feature included in Microsoft 365 that basically gives you a, a kind of a path to follow mm -hmm. uh, to make sure you're really becoming compliant, make sure that you really install all the features needed uh, to secure your email environment, your applications and whatnot. So really, really interesting. Uh, I, I strongly suggest you read more on the, on the Microsoft website or docs. It shows you how it works. Basically, Compliance Manager, really, really nice feature to that. Yeah, and, and, and as we were saying earlier, you know, whenever it comes down to, you know, well, what would the compliance manager look like? It doesn't look the same for everyone, depending on the services that you have. So at that point, we would really invite you to, to call us as you're purchasing these licenses that we can show you how the compliance manager can work for you specifically. Exactly. Kind of a, of a fun little so joke. Yeah. This is it about the plans. So now, uh, even or maybe do you have any other uh, points to mention before we go with the, the share web added values? I just want to make my joke to say that when you say, you know, just buying M265 business premium doesn't make you compliant. It's just like saying, you know, going to Dunkin' Donuts and buying a donut doesn't make you a cop. I'm a dad. I'm allowed. <laughs> Little bandwidth issues there, uh, Ali? I'm sorry, because, uh, yeah, I believe I have uh, some bad uh, connection. I'm uh, sorry about that. Hopefully it doesn't uh, uh, bother you guys or it doesn't affect the, the go to pla go to meeting platform. So, um, yeah, let's move with the why I go with Sherwood then. Um, show you why uh, you need to or you would like to buy Microsoft Solution with us. So our value added services, um, you know, there's a mini, you know, uh, many, many points out there. I won't read them read them all, obviously, but just so you know, uh, first of all, you'll have access to a, a dedicated account manager, maybe more. Uh, like I was mentioning before, since we have a, a really nice and tight relationship with Microsoft, we pretty, pretty know all the Microsoft solutions almost by heart. And if we don't have the answer right away, well, we have our pre-sales team right behind us, such as Alex, who can answer to uh, technical questions have a demo or go over some details all together on a call or a web or a video conference. Um, so these services we're able to offer you at no cost. You can uh, call us whenever you want to and schedule a meeting with us. There's no ticket, no quota, no contract whatsoever. Um, really easy to approach in the licenses. Um, basically, once you become a client with ShareWeb, you'll have access to our own design portal. So within that portal, you can add licenses, manage even your users, uh, which is, uh, I think, way easier to manage in our Cumulus portal, uh, this is how we call it, uh, than in the Office 5 admin center. Uh, again, you can upgrade them, remove them, or uh, simply uh, add licenses whenever you wish. The provisioning will work within a minute. Uh, so this, uh, our API works very, very well. And 
maybe a, a really, really great point here is to that is the premium support. I know many managed services provider offer support. I know Microsoft offers support as well, but sometimes when it happens, like Microsoft, for instance, they just don't have the bandwidth to uh, answer to all their thousands and thousands of clients, right? So which is why we have our own support team. They're all located in Canada, actually in the Montreal and in the Sherbrooke as well. So it's a bilingual support, unlimited support, no tickets. Um, so you can call us even by phone, by chat. Uh, we're really responsive, we're responsive within a minute. So if you have an Excel problem, for instance, you call us, you don't have, if you don't have a, access to it, just give us a call or create a support ticket and one of our dedicated uh, technician will contact you and make sure everything is okay. And another beauty of uh, our support is we do have the red phone, what I call it, the red phone line uh, with Microsoft. So let's say there's a major, major issue that we cannot um, fix. Well, basically we're, we're just going to call Microsoft on your behalf, create a support ticket with them and to make sure you're probably respond. So uh, really interesting about our support, which we offer it to you guys at no cost. Yeah, that was and a great point. Uh, I'll be sorry to cut you off again. Um, <laughs> that was a good point go ahead, go ahead, for the support. It's just so that, that people know that you are not forfeiting any service from Microsoft by going with SureWeb. We are a another step in the ladder. And as Ali said, if there's anything at all internally that we can't do, level two, level three, sysadmin, we can escalate to Microsoft with our Microsoft Premier support that we pay a lot of money for, and they have to answer right away, and they have to fix it. So it's a great way for certain companies to have access to that Microsoft Premier support without paying the tens of thousands of dollars that it would need to do to have that level of support. Because otherwise, if anyone's ever reached out to the Microsoft free support, it really is you're in their world now it's on their terms they're going to see if they feel it's a critical issue and they may take a couple weeks before answering you if at all obviously if it's a truly critical issue uh, you know microsoft is actually pretty good at uh, solving that uh, they're not in the news often for their outages uh, but it is an added value and it does make a difference exactly and another difference is the migration services um, Many, many projects that we currently have and have from the past years is uh, as the migration, the email migration. Uh, maybe you're currently on a hosted exchange server elsewhere. Maybe you have your own on-premises server in your basement, which we don't recommend, uh, and you need to migrate to the cloud. Well, we do. Oh, I'm sorry, Alex. I think there's a delay with the uh, time to speak. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, we do have our own uh, Midas team, uh, which is our migration team. Uh, so let's say you want to have a migration, you'll have a dedicated uh, technician who will assist you throughout the whole process. So really interesting. It's quite costly. Uh, usually a migration itself, it's probably around 30 to 100 bucks per user, Canadian bucks, uh, uh, which uh, again, might be really costly for a company, but we do offer that service. Uh, and we offer it at no cost for all CPA member. Um, there's a, uh, points who it's written benefits. I won't go into uh, these benefits. It's more partner related, but at the end of the day, all you have to remember, it's more the, the support and migration and all the uh, consultant services, I may say, that we offer at no cost for you guys. Uh, so I see that we only have like a few minutes left, so I'll go quite fast on the last uh, complementary solutions with Microsoft products. Uh, I wanted to bring the Cloud PBX and VoIP solution uh, to you guys because I know as accountants, uh, it's a product and a service that it's really trendy right now. Uh, we have many, many projects ongoing with the accountants and obviously other verticals that need Cloud PBX. So we have our own Cloud PBX designed from, uh, by SureWeb with a 5.9 SLA and a financial backup SLA. And obviously it comes with 40 plus features, so I won't go into all of these features. I, I don't want to bore you guys uh, anymore, but uh, if you want more uh, yeah, information, obviously you can go on our website, we can schedule a call. We have an SME as well for our cloud mm -hmm. index. Another uh, trend um, right now is the unified communication as a service. Uh, we call it a UCAS. So basically, I'm pr probably sure you're already familiar with Teams. Um, it's a really amazing application. It used to be a, a Skype for business, 
or no, it's the Microsoft Teams. It comes with so many features and it will keep coming with uh, ongoing and nice features. Mm -hmm. uh, but our PBX board system can connect uh, with the UCAS or you can even use Teams as your uh, as your mobile um, telephony system and you can use Trello as your telephony engine behind it. So many options, we can go uh, in more details if you give us a call or email. Exactly. And, and if you find that, you know, these types of uh, solutions, especially the Microsoft Cloud solutions, are a great fit for you that is working from home recently and are planning to continue working from home or working from anywhere, but you still have the landline with the work number forwarded to your cell phone and you're still paying those two services, call us because you're doing it wrong. We have, we have a much better way for you. <laughs> exactly. So uh, minimize cost. That's a really great point here. Uh, centralize all your services at the same time. So now the CPA offer, maybe you've already seen it uh, in your CPA portal. Uh, basically, we can give up, up to 20% to all CPA members on all our web products. However, in regards of Microsoft 365, and it just, it's important that I say, uh, say it loud and clear here because uh, we have many requests, is we do price match Microsoft. So meaning that we'll basically reselling the same price as if you would have gone with Microsoft, but with all the added value and services that we uh, we discussed. So basically, if you need to transfer, you need a migration, you need better support, you need uh, better consultation services, well, give us a call. You have this for a same price, maybe even cheaper than your current provider. Uh, we can offer all the product itself, obviously, but all the uh, surrounding added services, that's for sure. And we do have also many more uh, products. So uh, we discussed about Microsoft. We're, we're, there's also Microsoft Azure, Microsoft Dynamics, but we have many other vendors that you can have up to 20% discount on. So um, really nice products over there, such as QuickHail, Proofpoint, you're probably familiar with it. I uh, won't tell them all, but as you can see, uh, we have many and you can have more details on our website. So and this would be all on the uh, this would all be on the same monthly bill. If, if you have exactly. just one product with your web or all these 17 others, it's still going to be that one same monthly bill. Uh, so exactly, it's, it's, with it's the proper nice thing to have. I mean, it's it's less of a bonus for you know like say we were talking about like with the construction industry and then we're like oh paperwork paperwork. I guess accountants are less phased with you know one more bill one more invoice, but it's still it's still you know more time for yourself. <laughs> exactly and again we have SMEs per product line so uh, you want more information about dynamics uh, which is a complex uh, complex uh, world dynamics uh, well we have a SME for that quick help of point and whatnot so yeah feel free to give a call so uh, I know we've uh, we've talked for an hour now um, so I just want to make sure we answer to all your questions uh, I know we have someone on the chat as well to uh, answer your questions but um, is there any questions? Feel free to uh, use the chat on your right. I believe so. Send us your uh, your question. Um, we'll give you some minutes to uh, to answer probably those. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, so, so, so the voice behind the wall is is. Are there some questions uh, pending for us, or did we answer everything preemptively? Yeah. So I have two questions for you guys uh, that came in during the webinar, and uh, mm -hmm. so I'll ask them to you. The first one is. Can VPN get around the login limit by geographical location? No. Okay. That was uh, that was a quick answer, but <laughs> no. no. It, it would be it would be a good try. Like if it was the same service, like Netflix, for example, then yes, obviously a VPN just to say, hey, here's my world server. I'm actually in Cambodia. Let me in. Like that that would be great. But no, with the uh, with the Microsoft IP, it really is the underlying IP. You know under under the vpn gate i mean obviously everything is possible in this world there might be some incredibly talented 14 year old somewhere that's come up with a new ultra vpn that can get around that but in 99.99% in of circumstances vpn will not get past the uh the geographical ip block great thank you very much uh, another question is, is this Azure protection available to individuals as part of MS365? Well, MS365 is really just the, the service in itself. Uh, the actual ATP service is part of M365 Business Premium, that level of license and above. 
Otherwise, it is available as an add-on, either as just the service itself or as part of the uh, Enterprise Mobility Security Suite, which is, I don't know if you recall from a couple of slides ago, that the third one, the one on the right that talks about mobile devices, access, and into. <clears throat> exactly. A great point. You can have it as an add-on, which is uh, about two bucks per user at the top of my head right now. So, yeah. So, this is why we talk about business premium, Microsoft Society business premium, because it comes with all the features. But since it's a bundle, it's also the cheapest option to have all these amazing features within one bundle. Yeah, if you want to take the uh, the old uh, you know McDonald's trio for example, they, they they would sell you the burger for five dollars, the fries for four dollars, the drink for three dollars, or the trio for eight. So as soon as you need more than one service, you're much better off taking the bundle, and it's it's made like that on purpose. Exactly. Despite McDonald's, this uh, this solution is better for your for your business health. This is true. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> I have a craving. Yeah. And, uh, I have another one here. Uh, do you offer a client portal product for transferring files between office and clients? Not as it's far clients. as I'm aware of, but uh, you would be able to use, you know, either OneDrive or SharePoint for that uh, capacity. Those are both services included in uh, in all M365 licensing. Uh, so what you would do in, in this scenario, so you would take some files from your desktop, you know, or, or a hard drive that you plug in, you would upload them to OneDrive, and then afterwards, they, they, they are in OneDrive available from anywhere uh, in the world as long as your user uh, is, uh, is allowed into the organization. Uh, but I would need some more details to see if, it's, if it doesn't fit, but it's highly likely that just OneDrive and SharePoint can be used to accomplish this. Yeah. Yep. Um, another one is, do you have registered charity pricing for MS products? Yes, we do. And the way it works is that uh, anything uh, for a nonprofit with, uh, with Microsoft is actually run through TechSoup for both Canada and the U.S. And you actually have to reach out to them first so that your organization or your, your tenant, if you want the, the technical term for Microsoft, is approved for nonprofit licensing. Then afterwards, uh, both SureWeb, Microsoft Direct, uh, and any of our you know, esteemed uh, competitors are able to provide you with the nonprofit licensing from Microsoft. So you just have to pass the check from TechSoup first. And then yes, we can give you all the uh, the nonprofit uh, pricing licenses available. And a quick rule of thumb: it's about 75% off of the uh, retail price. So it's actually really worth it if you're into that field. Exactly. But I gotta warn you, though, uh, you won't be able to have access to the CPA offer if you're a nonprofit, as uh, we just you know the CSPs that just don't have margins out of uh, nonprofits use, right? Which is why they they were created at the first place. So just so you know, we can price match uh, uh, non-profit SKUs. However, if you need more services to running the solution, obviously we're there to help you out. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, just to make sure that, that we're clear, you know, if you are getting the non-profit pricing in the first place, you're already getting about a 75% discount. So if you're not getting that extra little nudge from the Share website, you're still very, very happy with your monthly cost compared to regular commercial pricing. Exactly. And it brings me to maybe one last point I forgot to mention during the presentation because uh, we have many requests and uh, some CPM members ask for home licenses. Uh, just so you know, we don't resell these. Uh, only Microsoft does. So we just cannot resell home licenses and per, for, purpose, uh, for personal purposes and neither. So it's really for your business. If you need uh, Microsoft for your, all your business needs, of course, we're there to help. However, we won't be able to... Uh, to resell all the other licenses or home edition. Mm -hmm. But you know, um, do check out the the uh, the, the new like Microsoft Family uh, 365 that uh, just came out recently. It seems it seems pretty good, especially adapted for the uh, kids uh, learning remotely or learning through technology a lot more. It has a, a lot of nice features. Uh, this is you know completely unrelated to this, but I've I've, I've lived it personally uh, for the last couple of weeks, and it's good. <laughs> So another comment here, uh, guys. Um, so another attendee said, uh, Alexandre, he's, has, he's asking about getting files securely from clients, not employees. So I'm guessing that's referring to the previous question. 
So yeah, we probably helps. would need to uh, to have a, a a full conversation on that. So so please do uh, do reach out to us so we can actually go over that uh, situation because we would probably need you know a lot. We would ask you a lot more questions to what you're trying to accomplish. Uh, but you know, yes. Yeah. <laughs> We'll, we'll you, can put rules, yeah. you can put rules uh, within your files, even though you're sharing with external users. So uh, that's uh, that's the thing you can do. Uh, most a lot of our clients do so actually. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, I believe so that's, we're... that's it for the questions. All right. Well, thank you, uh, Mr. Behind the Wall, here for mm -hmm. your question, and thank you very much, Alex. Thank you everyone for uh, being here today. Hopefully, we, this uh, webinar was really insightful for you guys. So. Um, a way to uh, contact us, you can simply go through your CPA portal under the Microsoft promo, uh, then you will see Sherwa, sure but there's a link uh, basically if you need to, to subscribe to the promotion, uh, simply click on it, uh, put your uh, contact info and one of our sales agents will contact you, make sure you're properly respond. And uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us directly on our website, you'll find our phone number and uh, someone will assist you with pleasure. Thanks, everyone. Stay safe out there. Have a great one. All right. Have a great one. Yes, yeah, stay safe. Thanks. Bye-bye.